hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys i'm going to guide how you can troubleshoot this issue so when i turn on my laptop the suddenly this screen is coming up automatic repair couldn't repair your pc if you are getting a similar issue like your pc did not start correctly or automatic repair could not repair your pc or startup repair could not repair your pc so this video is for you guys i will show you step by step how to troubleshoot the issue so first of all guys i should tell you why you are facing this issue so there could be multiple reasons behind this error the windows corruption latest window got faulty if you have suddenly changed the hardware power failure abrupt shutdown or your system and hardware issues and corruption of the hard hard disk or the ssd so whatever the error cause we are going to fix this issue guys so first of all we are going to troubleshoot this issue the step number one is power flush so power flush is basically very powerful tool to repair and fix any kind of issues this will drain all the socket errors from the motherboard so first of all guys you need to remove all the external cables from your system okay these are the mouse and this one is for my keyboard okay so i have removed with this also the power cable also you need to remove and all the external cable you need to remove and you need to forcefully shut down your system for almost 30 seconds so this is a power key press and hold it for 30 seconds now just wait for 30 seconds guys and if you are not able to boot your screen like this you can forcefully shut down your system two to three times as soon as the manufacturing logo appears so now release the power key now release the power button guys and leave your system for almost one to two minutes leave your system one to two minutes so let me pause the video okay it's now two minutes guys so let me turn it on now without any external cables and let's see if the issue fix or not it seems it's booting but no the blue screen is coming up you can see the error critical service failed so I'm getting the blue screen as well guys so I have to wait here for some time now it is going into the automatic preparing automatic repair option diagnosing your PC so now let me insert the mouse here guys so power flush doesn't work in my case guys so we have to move on to the next method okay so you need to click on advanced options from here then we have couple of options here we need to click on troubleshoot and then click on advanced options and from here guys we need to open the command prompt we are going to fix the issue with the command prompt choose your admin user here and if you are entering the correct password it is showing wrong then you need to change the keyboard layout to us then you need to put your password here okay so let me click on so once you have opened the command prompt guys we need to hit the some commands here the first command is sfc space slash scan now this will repair the windows corruption so first of all we need to go to the windows directory so let me go into the c and we need to type for the C and then colon and hit enter now we are in the C directory if I type a DIR so I'm able to see here the program files program files 86 program data users all the details here it means that we are into correct directory so we need to type for the command SFC space forward slash scan now now so let me 
fast forward the video in order to save your time guys so it's completed now it's saying windows resource production could not perform the requested task so just ignore the message we need to hit the commands here the first command is boot rack space forward slash fix mbr next command is boot rack space forward slash fix boot if you see the denied option here just ignore the message okay i have misspelled this command guys we need to type her nt60 space now sys boot rack space forward slash rebuild b c d now once you executed these commands carefully guys you can see on the screen as well please wait since this might take a while now successfully completed guys we need to exit out from here and click on continue with windows 10 or 11 just let me turn it on off now let me turn it on back and if that fix the issue let's see okay still the same issue guys blue screen of death your pc ran into problems and needs to restart if this also doesn't work in your case guys so let's move on to step number third the step number third is we are going to perform the restore point on our system if we have made that so let's click on troubleshoot advanced options then click on restore system system restore okay choose your username put the password so in my case guys i have made the system restore so i'm getting the date here 28.9 so let me try here the restore option if you are getting the red error so you have to proceed with the next method you can skip this method so let me click on next show the restore point more you can see as well here i'm going with this option 21 but you can choose the latest one automatic restore point i'm going with this option okay just hit next and click on finish click on yes and let me try if that fix the issue or not so let me pause the video guys for some time it might take 20 to 50 minutes no loss to your data all the application and your data is safe so restore point is finished now you can see guys the notification and here is the coming restore point completed successfully the system has been restored to the date and time your document have not been affected click on restart just click on restart option here and let's see if this fix the issue or not I waited for almost 20 to 25 minutes now you can see system is booted successfully so if I have still issue guys you are not able to boot your system let me show you the my documents as well
my issue is resolved now you can see the notification as well click on close and you can see all the apps and data is as it is inside my system you can see no data harm no data loss no application lost but if your issue is still not resolved guys then you you have left the last option that is reset the pc so let me go you how you can perform the reset you just need to hold the shift key and then click on restart option or you can go like this update and security recovery and startup this will land into the automatic advanced options now here are the options click on troubleshoot then click on reset pc and click on keep my files all your personal data will be remain same but all the apps you have installed manually will be deleted you have to reinstall them back click on this option just you need to enter the username then password now you can choose the cloud download if you don't have the data if you have the enough data i recommend you to choose the cloud download option and you will see resetting your pc so finally if you are getting the issue as well while resetting your windows and able to reset the pc guys you have to fresh you have to reinstall the fresh window guys and you can see the option just you need to click on reset option i am not clicking on the finish reset option since the issue is resolved already but you can see the notification as well here so i hope guys your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching